ladies and gents. Got something I just want to share with you guys for just a moment. Those of you who are having to deal with uh, the courts and you are reading over that document, you have been warned. And you are not really getting it, but then some of you that are getting it, you're trying to figure out how to incorporate it into what you're doing. Give me one second as I show you. This is ChatGPT, and watch what I do. And it's really this simple. First, I gotta take this one, and I gotta do not that. Where you at? See, there are two. So they're not supposed to be two. So this is how I get rid of this one. Dragon Bar. Bye bye. See you later. Talk to you again. Okay. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to start a new chat so that he's not confused because he's so confused and we don't want him being confused and we don't want you being confused. So you're going to go to chat GPT. Now watch what I do. Wake up. Wake up. I have a situation and I need your help. Question mark. Stop listening. Wake up. I have an individual who I'm getting ready to sue in small claims court, comma, and in my state, comma, attorneys are not allowed in small claims court, so I cannot seek an attorney to help me with this situation. So I want to use you and your expertise. Is that okay? Question mark. Stop listening. Yes. I can help guide you through the process based on the information provided in the documents you've uploaded. But please remember, while I can offer information and assistance based on these documents, I cannot provide legal advice. Assist you in preparing for your small claims court case. I can help guide. Wake up. The individual is claiming to be a creditor. Comma, but they've never provided proof of funding. And when I applied for the loan, I was doing so under the Federal Reserve Act, period. Specifically, Section 401 of Title IV. Comma, subsection 18, paragraph numero 6 which says that when I delivered or deposited my promissory note with the local agent, i.e. colon, the lender, comma, my promissory note operated at par with the Federal Reserve notes I was applying for as a U.S. borrower as identified by Federal Reserve Operating Circular Numero 10, Appendix Numero 3, period. Specifically, comma, OC-10, comma, which says that the local Federal Reserve agent is borrowing the money from the Federal Reserve Bank Board of Governors on my behalf, comma, and paragraph four of the aforementioned section 16, period.
the lender has proof of the received promissory note, comma, and receive the Federal Reserve funds from the Federal Reserve Board of Governors as proved by the letter I received from the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, period. But they have yet to do the accounting to credit my account and return the promissory note as agreed upon, period. They have not provided proof that the promissory note isn't my property and that they're just holding it as an IOU. Open quote. Close quote. Until they receive the funds from the Federal Reserve, comma, whereby it's to be returned to me upon satisfaction of the debt. Period. They have not recorded the funds received by the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, nor have they done any offsets, period. They have acknowledged that they are trading the promissory note on the record, market, and are receiving benefits from such trade, comma, but they're not benefiting me, comma, I'm not receiving any dividends as required by the Securities and Exchange Act, period. They are not offsetting my account by the profit being received from my property from which they are holding as collateral, period. The Federal Reserve Act, Section 16, paragraph number 2, says specifically that my promissory note, when delivered to them in exchange for Federal Reserve notes, comma, is to be held as collateral and security, period. If they're holding my promissory note as collateral and security, comma, then any profit made as a result of my promissory note must be addressed as an offset in the accounting ledger because this is our agreement exclamation mark i need to create 14 interrogatories based on the aforementioned information i know that i cannot create more than 15 interrogatories without court approval and or leave of the court period, the interrogatories must be professional, comma, specific, comma, and must address the issues I've just given you, comma, can you assist, question mark, stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to let him talk. I'm just going to let him do that because the rest of you guys can do the same thing for your situation. You explain the situation. You ask for the interrogatories. Now, He's just going to give me the interrogationatories. You're interrogating them, and by law, your interrogatories, when involving a legal matter and a court matter, that's why we do a notice of intent to sue, must be answered with, pay attention, must be answered with penalty of perjury. So you got to be under that. See, they're, they're interrogatories, so they must be answered under oath. Now watch this. Pay attention. Wake up. Excuse me. Those are not very good interrogatories. Comma. Anyone can see that any savvy person can say they don't understand it or it's too vague. I need more specific interrogatories. Comma. So that there is no 
possibility of someone saying that there is a problem with the interrogatory and using a loophole to get around answering the question under oath as required by law. Exclamation mark. So can you please redo that and be more professional this time, like I asked originally? Stop listening. Stop listening. Now, that's how you're going to do it. I never read that junk. I don't know what he did, but I guarantee you he's going to give me something a little bit better this time. Okay. For more precise and narrowly tailored interrogatories that aim to close... Did, did I ask you to speak? Shut up. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That's how you get your interrogatories. This document that we provided you is only to give you an idea, as Ricky Schroeder would say. Now... We ain't finished yet. We got to get our 14 interrogatories. Now, this will work for all of you. Student loan, car loan, home loan. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Whew. Now, let's finish cooking. Because somebody was talking about down with cooking with grease. Let's finish cooking. Wake up. Thank you for that. It is really appreciated. Comma, now I need a little more assistance. Do you think you can help me one more time? Question mark. Stop listening. I'm here to help. <coughs> what else do you need assistance with? Need you to shut up from now on. Of course, I'm here to help. And you what better have you, you better shut up. You, you done heard him speak. I don't know why you're trying to compete with him. Wake up. Because this matter deals with small claims court. Comma. Small Claims Court says that I don't have to bring the whole kitchen sink and bathtub when I bring my claim. I only need to bring two or three violations per claim, period. I plan on bringing at least five different small claims cases against the same litigant whom we'll refer to as John Doe numero one and Doe numero two, which would be the bond, and Doe numero three, which would be the insurance company of the bonding agencies securing the bond. Period. What do I need? At this time, it's for you to provide me the most common violations, open paren, at least 11, close paren, of the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act, comma, and for the Federal Credit Reporting Act, comma, at least 12, comma, and for the Consumer Credit Protection Act, comma, at least 11 violations comma, most common for creditors, and specifically the violations that occurred as a result of the information I've given you previously, comma, and can you separate them by table and in an organized outline format? I would really appreciate it, comma, and make sure you provide a complete list as I've requested, being as detailed as possible with the violation. Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, stop listening.
ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let this finish. I'm going to give you guys a copy of the link. Now, this is ChatGTP4, so many of you may not have access to it, and I apologize. I should have looked up and saw what I was doing, but you see what I've done here. Now, the next thing I would be asking it is to help me create a lawsuit on just three of the issues at a time. Three of the issues at a time. But remember, I just gave it almost 32 different issues. So that means I get to go back in the court. Three goes into 32? Well, you might as well say 11 times. I get to go back in the court 11 times.